I'm Jeff Rash with Prefort Manufacturing. I'm here today to introduce to you the newest chute in the Prefort lineup, the SC11. As you know, the Preferts already have three other chutes for you to choose from. The S01, the S0191, and the ever popular S04, which outsells our other chutes three to one. Now we've come out with a bigger, better chute with more features, and it's called the SC11. Basically what Bill Preford has done is taken the SO4 squeeze chute and added a lot of whistles and bells to it. Uh, first thing that we've done is we've powder coated this chute body. Uh, all of our other chutes are, are enamel dipped because there's so many working parts you want that paint to get through. This chute is actually designed so it can be powder coated which is going to add years of life to your chute. We uh, use a powder coat that's called uh, an architectural grade. It's got super, T, super high TGICs in it, and this powder coat will add years of life to a chute out in the sunlight. It's got UV inhibitors, and it just really makes a big difference on the life of the chute. So we're excited about having our first chute that's powder coated. Uh, it's going to make a big difference as far as the longevity of your, your investment. The next thing we've done is we've put a brand new head gate on this particular squeeze chute. This is called the HG10. This model is a little bit wider. It's got the same opening width of 28 inches and 59 and a half inches tall. It's got plenty of room for your biggest bulls or your smallest calves to get through. But there's a, a couple of big features here. One of the biggest features that we've changed is the way the automatic works on the head gate. Before, you kind of had to be a little coordinated and be a little practiced to, to set the automatic on the preferred head gate. It's kind of like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. You had to lift the bar. At the same time, you had to go in here and, and slide the bar when you're lifting this way and slide the bar back and forth. Now, what Bill's done is he's added this slide lock system right here. And if I want to engage the head gate, now all I have to do is literally press the side lock, turn it. Now I've engaged the spring, I raise it up. Now, instead of having to slide the automatic uh, back and forth, I simply set it. I pick one of four settings and then I'm done. So it's so much easier and faster, easier to demonstrate for your customers, easier to set in the field. Now when the cow comes through, she sees the daylight she has, her head fits through, but her shoulders are too wide. As her shoulders hit the yoke of the head gate, it separates it, the gravity latch falls, and now the spring will pull that head gate shut on any size animal. Doesn't matter if it's a 400 pound calf, uh, a 1,400 pound mama cow or an 1,800 pound bull. It's always going to catch. And so to turn that off, I just simply pull out my lock pin and I'm set. One of the greatest features of, of any preferred uh, squeeze chute is the head gate. And this uh, HG10 is really a major improvement as far as head gates. Simply the easiest, most effective working head gate on the market, no question. The next thing that we've done is we've had to address neck, neck access. And the squeeze mechanism on this squeeze chute works just like the other uh, squeeze mechanisms. It has an infinite locking system which works great. It's going to stop no matter what the width of that animal is. But one of the biggest problems problems that we've had and what producers have told us is uh, prefer we need more neck access. And that's one of the big problems because nowadays with BQA, uh, Beef Quality Assurance Practices, uh, you can't just give that cow shots all over the place like we used to in the old days. Now there's a very small injection site, it's all sub-Q, and you've really got to be able to get in there unobstructed to get uh, access to that cow. One of the biggest problems with all chutes is how do you get to it because you've got to have levers and, and things to work the chute. So when we pull this squeeze down, in the past this lever has been in our way. So Bill Prefort came up with a simple solution uh, to a big problem and that's simply move the lever out of the way. And the way he did that was you simply slide it up and twist it into its locked position. Now I've got total neck access to this animal. I can give shots, I can get get to a, its neck completely unobstructed. When I'm ready to release my squeeze, all I have to do, twist the knob, it falls right back into place, and I release the squeeze on the animal. Absolutely one of my favorite uh, new features on this chute because it, it, it's a simple solution to a real problem. 
Uh, the squeeze again works the same way as it always has on that infinite locking system. Uh, this chute, just like the SO4, uh, has the easiest adjusting side of any chute that we've got. If I want to adjust this side, normally that's a major problem when you're working with squeeze chutes because I usually have to get down and pull pins, I have to get hammers and knock it in. I'm, I'm working down in the manure and the dirt and the mud. It's really a messy problem and it usually takes several minutes because the bottoms of those chute tracks normally get filled with debris and are very hard to adjust. Bill Prefer came up with, in my opinion, the very best feature on this particular chute and that's how easy our side adjusts in. I can go from uh, working a, a 2,000 pound bull to a 1,300 count mama cow down all the way down to a three or four hundred count pound calf literally in just seconds with the pull of a lever. So I'm going to reach up here, I'm going to pull my lever and I'm going to move it all the way out to the daddy and then I'm going to move it in a couple of notches for mama and then we got baby coming through so I'm going to go ahead and pull that lever and I'm going to set it all the way in at its narrowest setting and now I'm set up and ready to go. One of the next features that uh, we've improved is the way that we place the handle on this particular chute. Uh, the, the side exit release is a very important mechanism on any chute. Ours is very simple. You just pull this rope and the side exit comes open, cow goes free. A lot of chutes now at this point have a rope or a pulley for you to have to deal with or many times you just have to go around the other side of the chute and slam it shut. We like to use levers for everything that we have. Uh, what we've changed on this chute is we moved the lever location. This lever used to be located underneath and the problem with that is when forklifts would go underneath it to pick it up and move it around the yard or to load it is we would damage that lever. So Bill Prefort decided to go ahead, leave the same lever system. It operates the exact same way, but we moved it on top to uh, make sure that we minimize damage. So we simply pull the lever out, slam the gate shut, and I've got a gravity latch here to keep the lever up out of my way. That's gonna minimize damage to any working parts on this chute. All Prefort squeeze chutes have five contour drop sides so you got total access to this animal all the way down both sides of the chute whether you're doing branding or whatever you might be doing at any part of that chute, that animal's body. I always have something else in my hand whether it be a branding iron or a needle or whatever so we want these to be able to close on their own. So we use gravity latches so that a man doesn't have to use both hands to lock the chute back. Our bottoms work the same on uh, all preference chutes. We remove the entire bottom for total access to the animal. So if I've got to get down here and work on this cow for foot rot or mastitis or whatever the problem is, I've got complete access to this animal all the way up and down the chute. Some chutes come with two panels. The reason we don't do that is because if I have a panel here and I reach inside to work on that animal and that animal kicks, it's an opportunity for her to break my arm. So we like to have complete access to that animal all the way down the sides. To close it up, I simply use gravity latches and it's right back in place and easy and ready to go. Uh, one of the biggest changes that we made on this chute compared to our other chutes is the tailgate. It's a bigger, more robust tailgate. It's taller, it's beefier, and the most important thing that we've done is we've put it where it rolls on apple core rollers. There are actually four apple core rollers, the same rollers that we use on our stall systems, and uh, it makes for the easiest open tailgate I've ever worked on any chute. Uh, I simply reach up and pull the lever and literally when you break that linkage over, that chute just, gate just falls open. To close it, literally can take fingers and slam it shut. It's so easy to operate. Those rollers are an absolute dream as far as back and forth. Uh, they can be replaced if they get wear. So just a huge uh, feature there. Another thing we've done is we've added two places to adjust the linkage. So if you get a little bit of wear, a little bit of slop after 10 or 20 years of use, you can actually go in there with a simple uh, wrench, tighten it up a little bit and fix that locking mechanism where it was like it was when you first purchased the chute. So that's a great feature that's been added to this particular chute that we're really excited about. Another thing is, one of the biggest problems that you have, we have a split tailgate that works fantastic. Uh, 
except for when you're working baby cows. The problem with any tailgate, whether it be a guillotine style or a split tailgate, is that when you open the tailgate, when you're working calves and you have your side shifted all the way in, is that it leaves a gap right here. So I've got this chute set down for calves, but when calves are coming down that alley, they're gonna see daylight right here. And a lot of times they'll either get a leg through or they'll try to stick their head through and now you've got a mess there. So that's been a problem for many years with many chutes. Bill Prefer came up with a great way to fix this problem. On the old chute, the SO4 chute, you reached up and you pulled the pin and stuck it in your pocket and held onto it that actually made this chute where one side, only one side opened. Well, we've done the same thing except we've made it a little easier. Now we've got a, a lock pin here. We just simply pull that out of the way. Now when I open the tailgate, only one side of the tailgate opens. This side remains blocked. That calf has no access, no daylight to try to come through. So fantastic solution again to a common problem. To uh, go back to using the dual tailgate completely, I simply close it. I slide the pin back in place. And now I'm back to using my tailgate just as I did earlier. So, another great feature is being able to adjust the side exit. I'm going to release the side exit. I'm going to walk around here and show you what I'm talking about when I say adjust it. One of the biggest problems that we face in this industry is if you've got a side exit, this is basically a floating gate. Anything that you've got that's not welded or bolted in place over time might uh, start to sag a little bit. Now the problem with that is when you when you pull it shut uh, either with our lever mechanism or another chute's rope mechanism or slam it shut if that gate starts to sag then it's hitting the bottom of the lock. It's not going into its locking mechanism uh, as easy as it should. So to fix that problem what we've done is if you over a period of time start experiencing problem with your lock not sliding perfectly into place uh, we've put a, an adjustment mechanism on here where you can actually uh, turn by just simply turning this bolt you can actually pick up the end of that gate and put it right back into place and if it sags again you just turn it a little more so you're literally able to not only adjust your tailgate back to its original form you're now actually for the first time on any chute that I'm aware of able to also adjust your uh, side exit gate right back into its original position when it came off the manufacturer's floor. A lot of great features on this chute we're extremely excited about it from the fact that it's powder coated and going to add years of longevity to the life of the chute, uh, to the new improvements on the automatic, the, the total rebuild and remake over of the tailgate, and then all the great common features like contoured sides and drop bottoms and uh, infinite squeeze uh, locks. Uh, it's just a fantastic chute. We're very excited to launch this chute on the market. Whether you're in the market for a, uh, you know, an SO1 squeeze chute, an SO191, uh, the SO4 squeeze shoe, which is great for big operations, uh, and now the SC11 squeeze shoe. This, this shoe has a lot of whistles and bells. It has a lot of features. It's bigger. It's more durable. It's easier to operate, and, uh, and actually it's a lot of fun. So if you're in the market for a new squeeze chute, and uh, with cattle prices being at record prices these days, producers have more money in their pocket. They're looking for bigger chutes, they're looking for better equipment, more features, and the SC11 answers all those demands that your customers are asking for. So we're excited about this chute. We hope you get excited about this chute and uh, we're ready to go to market. If you have any questions or would like to place an order for an SC11 or any of the other preferred squeeze chutes, contact your local inside sales rep today.